welcome to Chef Inspired Healthy. Today in the Daily Meal Kitchen, we have Fabio Viviani, chef and, resta <laughs> chef and restaurateur to a dozen restaurants. Yeah, more or top, less. Top chef alum and a New York Times best-selling cookbook author, and you have a new book that just came out. Tell me about it. Today's Fabio's American Home Kitchen, which, you know, it sounds crazy, right? I love it. Now, what a part that I love is that not many people know I've been in this country for almost a decade now. That's it? So it's time <laughs> for me. Yeah, that's it, right? <laughs> I'm old enough to make an American cookbook. So today, we're making something very simple, because the basic, I think, doesn't matter where you are, in mm -hmm. Italy, in America, what people go back is comfort. Right. Pesto is very known for being a sauce that you're tossing your pasta with. Right. But pesto, if you make it thick like that, can also be a very good filling Ooh, for raw yummy. meat. Yes. Now in this case, here's what we have. Which is the only really small technical things that I'm going to do and I'm going to show you how is to butterfly your flank steak. You got a knife that is gonna be at least long as the steak is mm -hmm. wide, all right? Then you start from the top. You always gotta be careful. Keep your finger out of the way, all right? And you start to kind of cut through it in the middle and you just go like that. Go like that and you cut through it. Then when you go like this, you kind of fold it a little bit and see, and see what you are, right? Look at, that. at the very end, you see that you get a, maybe a little thicker part right here. Yeah. And it's okay if it's not a perfect butterfly because the reality, what you need to do, you still gotta get them into the uh, roll it and get it back into the oven. Then what we do, we season with a little bit of pepper. Do you wanna, do you wanna switch right here no, and it's help okay. me out with the. Sure, with the, sure. Perfect. Okay. So we're, we're doing pepper? Yeah, that's, that's perfect. Okay. Then what we do, we put the pesto on it, right? Okay, I love it. Oh my god, that what looks I delicious. What I do suggest smells is so to, leave, to leave the edges not completely spread. So it doesn't ooze so out. So it doesn't ooze out too much. It will ooze out a little bit, all right? Not too much, okay? So okay. we're trying to have the part that you slice on the bottom. Okay. And the part that is untouched, which is this, on the top. Okay, So Perfect. here's the way you do it. You stretch it a little bit. Yep. And you start to close it like this. So yummy. Start to close this, it like this. And it's simple to cook too. I mean, this is, this is. is a simple dish. Next. Butcher, butcher twine? Yes. Twine? Twine. I used to say butcher twin. Twin? Butcher twine. <laughs> butcher twine. So get some little rib, little like ribbon. Okay. It's not a ribbon. Oh, string. It's a Strings. string, right? String. So and then you go like that. You go down, you put one in the middle. You start in the middle? Yeah, you start in the middle. Okay. Then you put one next to it. Then you put another one right here. Okay. If you're by yourself, you pass it twice. So it kind of stays. Yep. And then you go like this. Okay, so two times. Yeah. Nice hot griddle, that's the most important thing, because if the griddle is not hot, your meat will, will just kind of steam on it. Right, right. And you won't really, it's gonna be- You want be that sear. Yes. So, so we're gonna put a little we'll oil in here? We'll put it all on the oh, meat. Oh, on here, okay. Sim simple behold, most people will do this on a barbecue outside, mm -hmm. so that's fine. But if you do it in your house, kind of like what we do, right. you don't want to smoke it too much. Okay. Ah, oh, and that's what you want to hear, right? Yeah. And the important thing is that you gotta leave it alone. In ballpark, something like this will probably take, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Total. When you turn it, I do suggest you, since it's on the grill, now, if you wanna be like, like a real man, you flip it with your finger, why would you yeah. wanna burn yourself? You know, be a man in a different situation. Oh. When you do this, what you do, you just get it like that. Uh, big, you know you what, the, there's those sexy grill marks. Oh my gosh, this is cooked perfectly. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Mm. And this is in your new book? Yep. What's it called again? Fabio's American Home Kitchen. It sounds like an oxymoron, but it That's, works. It works, it's perfect. It's delicious actually. Oh my God, that's so delicious. Well, thank you for watching Chef Inspired Healthy with Fabio Viviani. I'm Diane Hendricks, and tune in next time for our next Rockstar Chef.